last time we got a totodile, and this time, um, we're going to miss a Pokemon toast. So let's go ahead and do that. Route 30. Oh wait, maybe I should buy some items first, actually. <laughs> so we don't die, because that'll be the end of the game, because this is a Nuzlocke. <laughs> Uh, maybe I should have paid attention to what this guy was saying. You should keep an antidote with you. You're right. That's the only part of that conversation I got. You should keep an antidote with you. You're correct. I'll buy three, because we have some money. And I'll buy some of these, because we have some money. <laughs> Uh, that should be good, right? I don't know if that's the original music in this game. I think it might actually have changed it. To Generation 3. I think that might be Generation 3 music, isn't it? I don't know. I'm probably tripping. Pidgey. Figured out how to turn the game volume down. See, I'm, I'm such an amateur at this. <laughs> if you couldn't already tell. Alright. Owned. Get owned. <laughs> Pidgey. Violet City, Cherry Grove City. I'm gonna go get a free orn berry. Sup. You know, Pokemon eat berries. Well, my Pokemon get healthier by eating a berry. Here, I'll share one with you. What a what a nice guy. I just randomly walked into his house and he's giving me stuff. That's hospitality for you. It's a fruit bearing tree. Yeah, oh, two! Okay. Usually it's just one. Cool. This really is like Generation 3. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> it's just literally- wow, it literally is a Pokeball. They don't look that good in Generation 2. <laughs> they usually just look like, uh, what is that Pokemon? Voltorbs? Or Electrodes? Let's go up to Mr. Pokemon's house, and we got caught. Immediately by Pokemon. Wait, I had a soda somewhere. And, oh, it's over there, okay. <laughs> Listen, Pidgey, I don't have to keep telling you this. <laughs> I have to keep teaching you this lesson, old man. I love the young people. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people. Told you. <laughs> Told you. Alright. I do have a fast forward option in this game. Um, I'm not gonna do it because I feel like that's cheating. Also, it's like, uh... It's like, uh, some wild thunder outside. It was just sunny like three seconds ago, and now it's like about the... <laughs> thunderstorm. Hopefully it, um... Isn't too loud and distracting. <laughs> Jet. Level 8. I'm not gonna do anything like, uh, EV train. I don't even know if this game has EV training. It might. They- I don't know if they switched the mechanics that much. It, it's possible, because there are fairy-type Pokémon in this game. And, uh... What's the other? Is that the only new type of Pokémon? I'm not sure. I, like I said, I got a lot to catch up on when it comes to Pokémon. I don't actually want what's in that, so I'm not gonna pick it up. Huh? Hello, hello. You must be Terry. Professor Elm said that you would visit. He was correct. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. 
Terry put the mystery egg in the key pocket. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Pro Professor Elm will know. <laughs> my brain stopped working right there in that sentence. Aha, so you're Terry. I mean, we met in the beginning of the game in that blank white space that was like an abyss. Don't you remember? A Pokemon researcher. I'm a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. Why is he called Mr. Pokemon? He has like, his only relevance to this whole game is this section of the game. After that, you virtually don't really need to talk to him again. <laughs> But he's called Mr. Pokemon, as if he's like the go-to Pokemon guy. <laughs> I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Prof Elm, Professor Elm and I, why can't I say the word Professor? <laughs> Pokemon are fr your friends. You saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah. You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See? This is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Here we go. He's bragging about his inventions again. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. Jesus like, all right, okay. So first of all, I gotta go all the way to this guy's house in the woods, and now he's giving me a Pokedex and says complete the Pokedex. So I gotta find all 200 some Pokemon in this game and just do it for you. And then, and then, and then, <laughs> when you do that, he's just like, oh, you did it. Congratulations, thanks. And then that's it. It's like, Oh. Okay. Alright. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> but I stay too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Terry, I'm counting on you. Why is everybody counting on me? You just met me! <laughs> oh. So I just don't like all this responsibility that they're <laughs> entrusting me with. You are returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. At least this guy doesn't ask me to do anything. Oh, never mind. He Now he's depending on me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> who else is depending on me? Huh? You got like a wife here who needs me to deliver some cookies or something? Like, Jesus. <laughs> Everybody's like depending on me. Oh, it's this guy again. Could I breathe? <laughs> Hello, Terry. It's a disaster. Um, it's terrible. What should I do? It- oh, oh no! Please, get back here now! Feisty. Mm -hmm. uh. Well, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, maybe I should've like... I, I, I know what happens next, so maybe I should have... You know, I got potions. If I die, I die. And that's that's the end of the Nuzlocke. Two episodes in. You know. Let's 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 get it. Let's get it. I'm ready. I'm, I'm about that life. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste to wimp like you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright then, buddy. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> Triple question mark wants to battle. I remember when I was a kid, I thought literally that was his name. I was like, why is his name just three question marks? And then when they asked me his name, I named him three question marks. And when his name was three question marks throughout the entire remainder of the game, I just uh, thought that actually was his name. 
Not a very uh, bright kid sometimes. <laughs> It's all right, six-year-old me. Um, you find out later. Mm -hmm. I could tell myself that. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Why has he? Wait, no, 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 hold up. He's got two Pokemon. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh man, why did I not think this through? I'm gonna die. I, this is actually gonna be two episodes long. I'm gonna have to start over. Wow, I am not smart. I did not anticipate him having two Pokemon. This game is different. I completely forgot that. I played this. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, okay. All right. No, I got potions. We got this. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Chikorita. Please, please do not have a razor leaf. I beg you, please. Okay. Okay. All right, okay. Okay, okay. I was, man, I was worried for nothing. I'm over here panicking, oh. You're not supposed to have that. <laughs> okay, maybe there is a reason to panic a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, no, yeah, uh, all right, let me just see how it goes. <laughs> This is so intense when you can actually lose. <laughs> oh man, please. Just, please. Oh. Wow, this is like a whole new level, okay. This is like a whole new level of scary. I hate you, I literally hate you. You almost, I hate you. <laughs> You know how much editing I'd have to do? I hate you. See? See? He literally says his name is triple question mark, and I thought it was really a triple question mark. That's not on me. That's not on me. Okay. I hate that guy. I hate him. I hate him. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it traditional and name him Silver. Oh man, I need to catch Pokemon. But they don't sell me Pokeballs, so it's not like I could have even caught Pokemon. I had to literally beat him with both, both of his Pokemon with my one Pokemon. That's just not fair. All right, well. I'm just gonna use the ledges and go home real quick, name this guy, and that'll be the end of the episode. New Bark Town. Oh, I thought I was gonna... Oh, there it is, alright. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. Rule number one, the criminal will always return to the scene of the crime. Oh my. So you're the thief! Hold on, Terry has nothing to do with it. I saw a red-haired boy spying on the building. What? You battled the trainer like that? Do you happen to get his name? Yeah, his name is Silver. And he's a dick. A mean guy. He pushes people. Okay, so Silver was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. Also, this guy never catches Silver. So all of this is just to name the character, pretty much, because he never catches Silver. Nobody ever actually catches him, or reprimands him for stealing. So, yeah, <laughs> there's that. Terry, I'm glad he understood that you're innocent. Well, yeah, if you weren't here, they would have just arrested me. <laughs> I went with the 10-year-old jail. This is terrible. Oh, yes. What was the Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Terry handed the mysterious mystery egg to Professor Elm. Oh. This? So dramatic. Mm -hmm. But is it a Pokemon egg? If it is, it is a great discovery. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? 
Terry, is that true? That's incredible! Jesus, what a drama queen. <laughs> he is superb at seeing potential people as trainers. Wow, Terry. You really must have what it takes to become a champion. You seem to be getting you seem to be getting on great with Pokemon too. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym would be the one in Violet City, Terry. The road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. Man, I'm about to just leave. She ain't even she ain't, oh. Doesn't doesn't I thought no, nope, you're not gonna give me Okay, alright. That's cool too. That's cool too. He usually gives me Pokeballs, I thought. <laughs> I was expecting him to stop me and he just like let me keep going, so I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's talk to my mother. Oh, neighbor's gone. Wow, that's a cute Pokemon. Where did you get it? So you're leaving on an adventure. Okay. <laughs> well, didn't uh didn't take her too much to turn around from that sadness. I'll help too. But what can I do? I know. I'll save your money for you. On a long journey, money's important. I mean, sure. Just so you're not a very useless NPC character, sure. <laughs> okay, I'll take your care of your money. Be careful. Pokemon are your friends. You need to work as a team. Now, go on. I was gonna. Alright, let's save. Okay, and that is... Episode 2. Next time I get grips. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, next time, uh, I guess we really start the adventure. Now that we got all the basic uh, trophy stuff, I'm gonna circle this lady. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, see you next time.